All right, y'all, so check me out. I was in Discord on VC chilling, cushing a team called Ocean 7. They fucking suck. And then I got a Twitter notification and I went to go check it out and someone liked my tweet. But this wasn't any tweet. This was my most popular tweet on my profile. On behalf of Splatfest ending, I would like to thank all the casuals who thought the game was dead for coming back just to play Splatfest. Thanks for being fucking garbage at the game, picking up your dusty ass platoon copies for one weekend. Trash ass players, I swear. Congratulations, you just said the stupidest shit I have heard all day. Like the fact that you put those words together in a sentence and thought that shit was okay, crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, I made this tweet a year and a half ago, back in 2020. And you know, I just thought, let's talk about this shit. <laughs> let's start off when I made the tweet. As said before, this was back in 2020, a year and a half ago. This was during the Ketchup versus Mayo Splatfest rerun. And let me get this out the way. I hate Splatfest. Now, don't get me wrong. When I say I hate Splatfest, that just means I hate Turf War. That doesn't mean I don't play it though. I mean, it's just kind of fire. We get to play Turf War at night, I get to play with my friends, win a hundred times battle. It's just fun as fuck. I even love the Shifty Stations. Like, that shit's awesome. Also, it's kind of the only way we can get sea snails during the time. Thank you! I got my goddamn sea snails. Spike, reroll my shit! Turf War is just boring after a while. Like I promise you, this is everyone during every Splatfest. Let's go! It's a new Splatfest! Let's get it on, boys! I'm out the bitch. I'm playing this shit. Yeah, I'm playing my shit off. And they expect us to play that shit for 72 hours, 48 hours? Like, you got me fucked up. But just put rank modes in Splatfest. Like, it's not even a matter of we need it. It's just, why not? That shit would be lit. So there you have it. My reasons for hating Splatfest. Well, that's not even the main part of it. Now let's get to the other reasons why I made the tweet. And that's simple. Because niggas are fucking trash. How do you expect me to play the game with a Rick rolling carbon roller for the entire 48 hours of a fucking Splatfest? That shit is ass. I'm busting my ass trying to get in the top 100, but instead I got Mr. Fucking Charger over here who can't paint and shoot shit. Not to mention, there are people who literally join a specific team just to throw so their team can win Splatfest. How fucking petty do you have to be to do that shit? It's not that deep. You mean to tell me we actually throw games just so Fork can be Spoon or Pope can be no Pope? Are we that dumb? And I've played in damn near all the Splatfest, but that Ketchup and Mayo one? There was something wrong with that one, bro. Like, holy shit. <sighs> now that that's on my system, I'm ready to be rational. Now, let's talk about the very obvious things about this tweet. Do I regret making this tweet? No, I don't. I do not regret making this tweet. This tweet was nothing but facts and I take no shame in tweeting it. However, this tweet makes me look like a dick. I'm gonna be 100. This tweet makes me look an asshole and I don't like that. Were my teammates trash? Of course they were. They were garbage, but it's not fair for me to put it out there because it's not their fault. It's the matchmaking system's fault. The matchmaking system is worse than X rank, solo queue, and regular turf war in general. Like, it's just so much worse than Splatfest. Like, you can literally get someone who just bought the game in your fucking lobby, especially during Splatfest since it's like a popular time. Around this time, since Splatfest was coming back and whatnot after the final fest, People were doing it, dang, where we're talking about, oh, this game is fucking dead, oh, this game is done, you know, and, and that bothered me. And so when people were, like, only coming back just for Splatfest, I'll, I'll be 100, do what you want, you bought the game for $60, I can't judge you, I can't make you do what I want, but for me personally, it gets on my nerves. Like, for me, this game is more than just Dark Mode Turf War, so that's why I think I made that tweet out of spite of the people who only came back for Splatfest and it bothered me. The tweet was more supposed to be satire if anything, but I made it look serious as a joke, which was very dumb on my part, but <laughs> I got in some valid criticism from certain people from the tweet and I do appreciate it. For the most part though, it seems like my tweet caused like to give everyone a good laugh. You know, a lot of people laughed at it, thought it was funny. 
you know and that's kind of what i was going for to be honest so i'm glad it achieved that goal and with that being said that is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching and if you would like to see more content like this please like subscribe it means a lot to me see you guys later <laughs> the CS yes, platoon copies <laughs> them niggas will probably win they jord find a platoon cartridge and win <laughs>